Hello, guys and gals. Welcome back. This is one of those beginner tips that's either going to be really obvious to you or it's going to blow your mind. When you've been doing things as long as I have, it's really hard to put yourself back in the beginner's shoes. And it's really easy to forget that some things I take for granted every day, some people might not know. And I was chatting to a DJ friend of mine who's getting into production. And I realized from the way they were talking that in DJ world, they don't really talk about the difference between MIDI and samples very much. So here we are, samples versus MIDI. Let's go. Okay, so I've got a audio sample here and we've got a MIDI clip as well. I'll show you the audio sample first. We've got a synth stab. And I'll show you the MIDI. Here's what the MIDI sounds like. Did you catch that? I'll play it again for you. That's right, MIDI sounds an awful lot like silence, doesn't it? And that's because MIDI has no sound. MIDI is just trigger data. These are just data entry points on a grid. They don't have any sound. They're supposed to trigger sounds. That's what MIDI is for. So by itself, MIDI has no sound. Let's use it to trigger a sound. Like this synth, for example. Here's our audio. This is the audio version. This is me triggering the, the synth patch, which is, as you obviously probably guessed, vital. So first things first, if anyone tells you one is higher quality than the other, incorrect. So don't let anyone tell you to convert your MIDI to audio to improve the quality. That's not why you would do that. There are reasons to use one over the other though. Let's go through some reasons for each one. So with the audio, we can do things like, you know, we got a filter here. But you can do that with the audio resulting from the MIDI trigger as well. Because once it's in the audio domain, obviously you can affect it as audio just like you would a sample. So what can't you do with MIDI? Well, you can't do things like reverse. Now, of course, there are audio effects which can sample and then reverse the sample on the fly. But in terms of being able to manipulate what's here, there's nothing I can do to this MIDI that's going to give us a reverse sound. The reverse has to be done in the audio domain. Another thing you can't really do in MIDI very well is, for example, stutters. Like, let me do this kind of thing. Because if I do do this in MIDI, the notes are repeating, but you're not getting the cutoff of the reverb and the delays. You're not getting the true restart because the synth is just triggering as if it was being played faster, which isn't the same as chopping up the audio and starting it again, starting it again, starting it again, etc. That's a different effect. Listen. Versus. Hear that? So that's another good use for audio. What else can't we do with MIDI? We can't stretch. Because that has its own effect. If I just draw a longer MIDI note, the sound that's triggered isn't going to change. So there's some good reasons to be using audio. Now as for what we can do with MIDI, 
I showed you we could filter the sound, but what you can't do with audio is change the sound at its source. So this synth patch already has a filter on it. But if I open this filter up, we can get brighter than the original. There's no way of achieving that in audio. I'd have to find a different sample and then filter it down and then back up it, for example. Obviously I can change the preset, the synth sound. But obviously I don't just have to trigger synthesizers. Here's a piano. Could be a string. You can even trigger other samples. That includes drums. I can also manipulate that MIDI trigger data before it even gets to the sound. So I can apply things like an arpeggiator. That's splitting the notes up and playing them as a sequence for me. Here's another difference. Obviously with both MIDI and audio, we can manipulate pitch. I can do the same here, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but what you might not be aware of is the two sound very different. Because this is triggering a synthesizer, the synthesizer isn't changing its tone, sometimes called timbre. It's especially prevalent with a synthesizer like this, because synths don't make sound with samples. They're generating sound from scratch using oscillators. Let me play you back this riff where I've pitched the chord up and down. It retains its quality all the way through. Whereas if you listen to the audio being pitched by the same amount, you'll notice it sounds more and more different the further away from its original pitch you get. And it doesn't matter which kind of pitching technology you use, it's always going to be the case to some degree. Listen to that deep note at the end there. Versus the MIDI. It's lost a lot of brightness in the snap which is not something you can just repair with EQ and things like that because it's been lost from the sound at the source. Now, if you're dealing with samples in certain genres, you might want that degradation effect. So MIDI might not be appropriate there. It might be best to transform to audio and then play with it, make it actually deliberately sound more lo-fi. And last but not least, chords. If you're dealing with chords like this, Now these all happen to be major chords in this sample. It doesn't matter if you know which one it is, but sometimes you need minor chords and there's nothing you can do to audio that will change that. Whereas obviously if you have access to the MIDI, I can just change one note and now I have minor. Major, minor, etc. So. So MIDI gives you access to all the scales, whereas audio, you're stuck with what you're given. So I hope that ho <laughs> I hope that hoped some of you. No, I hope that helped some of you. I know that might be a really obvious topic for some of you, but that's why I ask for you to leave me some comments and tell me where you're at because I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just trying to make videos on subjects that I don't see being talked about very much. So if you have any burning questions, by all means, leave them below or DM me on Insta. And until then, you know what to do, like and sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.